Hi guys, it's Richard at Motorhome Depot and I'm going to be showing you around the 2009 Pillar Reference 675. So it's based on the Renault chassis with the 2.5 litre diesel engine with six speed manual gearbox. This is in really good condition for its year as well. Uh, only a few minor marks which are going to be highlighted within the additional photos and this video. So there is a very, very slight scratch on that bumper just to the front. Uh, nothing really to speak of. So as we make our way around the, uh, the passenger side. So on this side here, we have the fresh water fill point as well as your boiler cowl, electric hookup flap and rear access to the under rear fixed bed. So good storage under that rear fixed bed as well. Uh, no marks or anything on this side. Uh, Bodywork, like I say, all in really good condition. As you can see, uh, there is the alloy wheels as well uh, with uh, fairly recent new tyres also. So as we make our way to the rear, uh, we have two reversing cameras. So we have a high level camera and a low level camera, as well as the additional Fiamma storage box and the Total tow bar at the bottom. So as we make our way round onto the habitation door side, uh, we have the Omnistor awning um, as well as the toilet cassette. There's also the fridge vents there as well as the gas locker. Um, there is two additional uh, gas bottles in there as well. Uh, it does have the electric step also. So also included um, is the solar panel on the roof as well, uh, as well as a brand new leisure battery. So again, just a couple of minor bodywork marks on this side. So a very small one just near the toilet set. And another small one just by the, uh, the habitation door. As we make our way to the inside of the motorhome. So starting at the rear of the inside of this motorhome, we have the good size French bed. Uh, as you can see, there is fantastic storage options both above and below the bed itself. Uh, so just to the side of that, we have the washroom area, uh, which is comprised of the separate shower enclosure, um, vanity hand wash basin, as well as the cassette toilet. Uh, so again, great storage in here as well with the uh, cupboard just to the right of the mirror and below the, uh, the countertop basin. So as we move into the kitchen area, just to the side of the habitation door, uh, we do have a full size fridge freezer. Uh, now this is a uh, three way fridge freezer, uh, so it will power on gas, uh, 12 volt, as well as main suck up. So also included, uh, there is a photo in that with the additional photo section. Uh, there is the TV point, uh, as well as the uh, slide out TV. Uh, just above the habitation door, we have the control panel. So there's a gas isolation point as well as carbon monoxide alarm and your main uh, main switches. Uh, so as you can see, there is a little bit of the damage to the timber just below the control panel. So the rest of the kitchen area, uh, as you can see, it's an L-shaped kitchen that has a four burner gas hob, grill and oven, as well as the hand wash basin. Uh, again, great storage options both above and below, as well as the additional controls for your heating and hot water. So as we come into the main living area, uh, there is two side benches as well as the drivers and passenger swivel seat. Uh, so this will comfortably, uh, com comfortably seat six. Uh, this area will also convert into a double bed if required with the assistance of the table. Uh, so this area does also include two three-point travelling seats uh, with the removal of the cushions down to the bottom on both sides. Again, great storage space all round. So moving into the driver's cab, it is the 2.5 litre engine as mentioned before with the six speed manual box. It does include uh, two reversing cameras as well as a sat nav 
Uh, it does also have a dash cam as well as air conditioning, uh, electric windows and the factory fitted window blinds to the front also. If you do have any further questions on this motorhome or any other motorhome, please contact us on the details provided.